hello lovely people welcome back to my channel uh if you have not subscribed to my channel please do what to subscribe okay if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support i really appreciate your support for me for being part of my channel thank you my god will always bless you for me so we are still on the gist from the royal house of uni of ife so from what we are hearing you know uh, it was alleged that uh, Dr. Elizabeth and uh, the mama of the house, Olori Mariam, scatter area, as in the scatter area with their gossip. Gossip. So, from what we are hearing, there's this woman they called, uh, there's one Ayaba in the palace, and her name is uh, Okbe, Okbe Yemi. So, and they said that this Okbe Yemi, there's nothing that you tell Okbe Yemi that the whole house, the whole palace and the whole community will not hear. That, that secret, that you call secret, the moment you get to uh, that Ayaba called Okbe Yemi, that everything, it, it, it will no longer become a secret. Don't forget that Okbe Yemi is an Ayaba in the palace. Dr. Elizabeth is Okbe Olua. So, don't mistake the names, okay? So we heard that uh, from what we are hearing that, you know, Mariam, you know, Mariam, the big mama in the house. It was said that uh, if you guys notice, you notice that ever since uh, Dr. Elizabeth enters the palace, that uh, Mariam have been trying to make friends with her. Anywhere you see this person, you see this person. Some said then that Mariam was looking for something, you know, that it will not take time for her to show Dr. Elizabeth who she truly is and look at it happening now. So from what we heard, it was said that this uh, Mariam uh, went to that Ayaba called Okbeyemi and told her that uh, uh, it's not only that uh, Dr. Elizabeth agreed to marry uh only of Ife because of the breakfast that his boyfriend served him. But it's like there is a child or children somewhere that she had out of wedlock. Hey, no be small thing, no. As a no be small thing. This one, a eh? heavy, heavy one. So you guys should not forget that b before, from what we are hearing, it was said that a... Uh, uh, the marriage with the marriage between Oni of Ife and uh, Dr. Elizabeth started long ago, but at a time, Dr. Elizabeth uh, refused to call the engagement off and said that uh, she's no longer interested. But later, the, maybe the same guy that made her do that served her breakfast. That was when uh, uh, she now agreed to accept Oni back. Uh -huh. Even though some people said that it's because he, she said no, because o Oni said that uh, Kabiese said that it's only cow that she can that he can provide for the marriage. You know, a lot of things have been said, but from the look of things now, Mariam said that uh, uh, her that she decided to come back to the palace because she had been served breakfast by uh, her boyfriend, and not just that that there is. Or that she's hearing that there is a child or children from Dr. Elizabeth out of wedlock, although she's still investigating it, you know, and uh, that she's not too sure, but she's still investigating. It, but there's she knows that there's something like that somewhere. So this is what uh, Mariam told Ayaba, the way me woman. They said that this way me have been there, you know, for a very long time, uh, hoping that uh, Oni would choose her as one of the brides. But uh, nothing, nothing has. Kabi uh, uh, is not looking her way. So when she, uh, the way me heard this thing from uh, Mariam, and you know all these uh, gossip, gossip women, they would like to use it to find favor, you know. So now the talk said uh, wait, me took the matter to um, Dr. Elizabeth. Uh -huh. She wants to make friends with her, and she have to, to say something now. You know, sometimes all these people, all these gossip, gossip people, they will talk about the one that is true and the one that is not true, just to get what they want. And now 
uh, opportunity don't call as uh, Ma uh, Mariam don't tell her say it gets it be like said there is speaking outside for Dr. Elizabeth. So when this woman told Elizabeth this, Elizabeth did not take it lightly. So she have to go to Mariam. How could you say a thing like this? How how can you say what you are not sure of? Do you know who I was talking with? This and that. You know? So why they were shouting? Then Elizabeth, uh, Mariam told her, did you hear anything from my mouth? Who told you that I was the one that said it? This and that. And when the thing got, when the noise gets too much, uh, the whole, as in, when there is enough, too much noise from the two of them, because it's not a small thing now, Dr. Elizabeth now round to the KBAC to report that look at what Mariam said about me, you know? So KBAC was like, how could you do a thing like this? I thought you guys are friends. I thought you are friend. Eh? <laughs> Some people used to say that the friendship that uh, Mariam is going to Dr. Lizzie to have is so that she will get points, you know, to sell outside. So and uh, Kabi, uh, Dr. Elizabeth was uh, Dr. Uh, Elizabeth was telling Kabiesi, this is what she said about me and how can she be how can she be doing this to me I came into this palace hoping that I'll find family and uh, you know the way she was treating me I, I was relaxed with her and look at now look at how can she be say, selling uh, my information even though even though it's not true outside just like that so and Kabia said to the uh, Mariam, Mariam, you are the oldest wife here for now. You supposed to, you supposed to be behaving yourself, and you should know that you you are like a mother to Doctor Elizabeth in this palace now. Eh, now Mariam change her for that. I beg, I beg, I beg, stop there. What him be say? I be, I, I'm like a mother to her. Am I older than her? Am I older than her? Tell me. Ha, I will not talk him again. No. We are the same age met. And we heard that uh, uh, Dr. Elizabeth is 38 years. And Mariam also claimed that she is 38 years. But by men looking, you can tell that Mariam is uh, like 40, 45, 50, you know? So, but that is not what we are here to talk to, to talk about. So it was said that uh, KBSA said, you shouldn't do that to her. Even if you hear something like this, the first person you should come and report to is me so that we can do investigation to find out if it is true or not. So after everything, uh, KBSA happens to settle the whole issue for the two women, you know, women and their maternal. The thing be said, KBSA don't settle them, but it never settle. We will still hear about it, you know. So I want it just to here and share with you guys. Don't forget that all this information are all alleged. They are not first-hand information because we are not living from them, with them, and we did not hear from them. So it should be treated as such. Thank you once again for your support. Please, if you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe, okay? If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Trick Boza for you. Boza! 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 Love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye for now.